Ever since my first visits to the Yukon, I've been anxiously looking to get back to the Canadian North, and, in particular, to Ayuktuk National Park on Baffin Island. But first, I needed the right people to join me. Fortunately, my longtime adventure partner, John Payne, was quick to sign on. With John, we got wisdom, a backcountry chef, and nonstop entertainment. Next, we got youthful energy and more enthusiasm when my stepson, Uli Schmil, came aboard. We were finally on our way. Of course, traveling to the Canadian North comes with expected weather issues. In our case, due to high winds, we were delayed two days, which included having to sleep in the Iqaluit Airport as every hotel room and other forms of accommodation were simply book solid. That said, we appreciated having the airport to ourselves and actually had a pretty restful sleep. One of our first stops in Pang was the parks office, where we went through the mandatory orientation. We were designated Group 49, that is, we were just the 49th group into the park in 2018, and fortunate to be among the few hundred people who would be able to experience its rugged beauty this year. At Thor, because right underneath Thor, at summer bedding in the summer bedding. We also spent time exploring Pangertung and met a few of its 1400 residents, including fishermen, incredibly talented stone carvers, and these adorable children. Now, after three days of travel and delays, we were bursting to get moving. And finally, we got the word from Peter Killebuck, our boat captain and outfitter, that it was time to head up the fjord. Ah, beauty. On the other side, there's like this column. Hmm. It's all on this side, hmm? which is why we had a lot of wind out there. It's crosswinds. It's bouncing, I guess. Yeah, so it's bouncing yeah. off that mountain oh, okay. and just coming out fast. So it's a lot better on the other side, and as you can see, it's yeah. really died down in here. Yeah. Nice. Half is going to be a little less bumpy than the first half bit. So while we have a window. Yeah. We're going to go for it. Awesome. Good. Good. I hear it's going to be sunny and there's palm trees. <laughs> okay. Just in case it's not me that picks, picks you up on Friday, I'll, I'll be sure to uh, give them this information. Very tricky because you can't see the rocks. No, Our first day of hiking in Ayuituk National Park was wet, windy, and just a bit tiring. 
especially as we were just getting used to carrying our heavy packs. But it was also energizing. It's hard to put into words how amazing it felt to finally be in this spectacular natural and national treasure. This is my tent after one night in light rain. It's not working that great. How's it going, JP? Great, great. Got my hands frozen because I've been draining <laughs> David's tent. What the heck? After one night. <laughs> oh, fun. And you can see up there is a light dusting of fresh snow. Because it did rain all night. Rocks clattering last night? I heard some rocks. rocks clattering down there like boom, ba boom, boom. Okay, we're at the Arctic Circle. This is pretty cool. Okay, this is uh, our second morning, and here we are in our campsite, and the boys are still here. We haven't lost anybody. First in the Arctic. First it's morning in the Arctic. That's right. And what happened last night, lads? Uh, the the Northern Lights came out. The Northern Lights came out. Aurora Good. came to visit. That's right. It was fantastic. Right, Early? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But now... Back to my hot chocolate with marshmallows. This is pretty gnarly. I'm not looking forward to climbing back up this on the way back. Walking through the forgotten garden Seems like rain is gonna fall Leaves are dancing gracefully Okay, here's John doing what he does best. He scurries on ahead and then he lies down for half an hour. I'm enjoying the scene. We turn that around so you can see. And there's Uli. He goes fast or slow depending on who he's hanging with. You just need to listen to the voice of your heart. JP has just noticed he's got a bit of a an issue with his tent. The window has come apart 
from the main tent fabric and he's trying to glue it back together. So JP, how's it going, eh? It's going great, eh? Yeah, eh? Great, first thing in the morning, look at it. <laughs> Woo! Is there a better place? Hard I wish to... we'd camped up there in the sun. But... <laughs> Wouldn't that have been something? Yeah, that was a chilly night. That was a chilly night. Hot coffee, first thing in the morning. Hey, that's my cup. Uh, no, this one's mine. It's got a goober right there. Oh, a goober. Okay, a goober's yours. We just finished crossing Half Hour Creek. And we could just do it by rock hopping. Summit Lake and uh, you know it just wasn't epic shots so we had to backtrack and get up onto this little bench which is absolutely stunning. Check it out. See it? Ah. Woo! Yeah so it's here we are. Good. Sorry go ahead David. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're hoping tonight <laughs> to get a bit of a sunset who knows and if a miracle happens the northern lights we always look for that and we've actually had it one night. So that was pretty cool. That was at Windy Lake, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Windy Lake. And and I've oriented my just in case. David's got his tripods ready, and so does Uli. But no me, tripod for me, though. I've, yeah, no tripod for Uli. But I've oriented my tent so I can see out the window and not have to get out of my warm sleeping bag. Yeah, the, no, the northern lights could be going like the biggest of the century, and this guy would just—you'll see a nose Pop up to his little window. window. This big. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening out there? Ooh, ah. Yeah. So anyway, this place is amazing. Uh, we're very lucky to be here. It's I'm, almost spiritual. Yeah. You know? I'm lucky to be able to do it with these two guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you choked me up. Yeah. Well, you're suffering from a cold. David's got a cold, by the way. <laughs> no, I don't. Nope. <laughs> I don't. There's no kissing David. <laughs> no, I don't. He says hacking and coughing. Breakfast of Champions. Quick Quaker Oats with little chocolate nibbies. Oh, I see one M&M. How did that get in there? A tip of a caribou antler. Stop mixed emotions. I'm not immune, I try Stop False devotion Do you know I'm not immune, I try
impossible for old men. <laughs> JP, he's a wonder. Loving this warm sunshine. Yahoo! You said you had nothing to say. I do. The sun's out. It's a different day. Oh, he's awake again. Woo, doggy. John's homemade chili, dehydrated and reconstituted in the Arctic. Woohoo! Woohoo! It's worth noting that while we were prepared for crossing creeks with higher water levels, we were fortunate that it was just this one creek that required us to use our neoprene socks and booties. This was due in large part to our hiking the park during the cooler end of summer temperatures. Well, we just finished crossing uh, Schwarzenbach Creek. We did too. We used our booties and footwear. And now we're trying to warm up. Yeah. Uli almost took a dive in the drink there. <laughs> but it's because I didn't wear my booties. I was trying to rock hop it. He was trying to show that he was better than the park Still people. young. Yeah. Young and foolish. Oh yeah. So we got a uh, cheese and salami sandwich up there for Uli. Rack. Peanut butter. And what? Oh, salami again. And John as he licks the knife. Yeah, he licks sharp knife. Speak with fork tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I do that every day, don't I? Yeah. And I'm just having a wrap with cheese in it. <laughs> like I did probably every second day. Because every other second day I'm having wrap with peanut butter and jam. Every other second day. Odd days and even days. In your case, they're mostly odd. John's losing his marbles. Ooh, I'm going crazy in the Arctic. Hey, right, we're not in the Arctic anymore. No, we're south of the Arctic Circle. We're south of the Arctic Circle. Like our first night in the park, this, our final night, was for a few hours incredibly windy. Fortunately, all the tents held together. And once the wind died down, we cooked up one final tasty supper, hit the feathers, and fell asleep to thoughts of being back here one day. At the end of the day, being able to experience the beauty of what some refer to as the Switzerland of the Arctic with these two crazy guys is something I'll always be grateful for. And isn't sharing adventures with family and friends what it should all be about? Peter and Larry came back for us. Yay! <laughs> Pretty windy out there.
Welcome back to Ayuituk National Park on Baffin Island. I'm here with Uli and John, and we are just north what of the Arctic me? Circle. And David. Okay. <laughs> today's I'm, I'm today's scripted. topic. Today's topic is water filtration and what we brought into our eight-day adventure on the uh, on this in this beautiful place. So 